Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're doing one that everyone adores. The interior door jam was kicked in, the jam is broken, the casing's broken, and we're gonna get it buttoned up. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get to it. So first things first, we're gonna cut the caulk on this piece of casing at the wall because I don't want it to tear up the wall uh, and the paint finish when I take off this piece of casing. I'm gonna cut it where it meets the jam as well. Even though I'm pulling the jam out, I don't want this piece of casing to chip off or break. I want it to be reusable. Hammer and my trusty super bar. We're gonna get behind the casing here. I don't want to disturb this top piece of casing, so I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to walk it out. Sometimes the casing has these little clips in it. It was probably a pre-hung door and they popped it in there. It's easy to break another piece of casing uh, if you don't be careful with these clips. Now I'm going to try to do this, pull this piece of jam without disturbing the front casing. Doesn't look like it's secured to this part of the jam. Now let's start at the bottom pulling the jam. Same as before, we're gonna walk it out. And somebody has put this foam sticky uh, weather stripping on there. We're gonna remove this too because they just look terrible. All right, let's go ahead and clip the nail. I got my trusty side cutters here and I like to hang on to the end of the nail. Now that we got the nails cleaned up, we can measure what size board we need. Here, now to casing, to the front of this casing is about four and five eighths. With three and a half and then half and half, you should be able to get away with a four and a half inch board. Now they do sell this four and a half inch board uh, in the trim aisle. They sell individual pieces so you can just buy one jam leg and it comes primed and it's already ready to go. But my local Home Depot didn't have any today. So we went ahead and got a one by five. Now this is new. They have not always sold one by fives. A one by five actually measures four and a half. So this should work perfect for the jam leg. I'll measure from the floor now to the, to the jam. Right there is 81. So I'm gonna cut mine at 81 and a half just to make sure we get up inside that top header. All right, one by five, cut at 81 and a half. We're gonna slip this in the jam and then scoop that into the floor. It's looking good. You can see that it comes right to the front of the casing here. After you get your jam leg replaced, go ahead and shut the door uh, to make sure we can get the door beside it. Now this one is right on the money. Uh, if, yours, if you have a gap between your door and your jam leg, you may need to shim it shim it to bring this out a little bit uh, but mine looks good so we're going to go ahead and nail it off my trusty pass load worth every bit of four hundred dollars give it the test to make sure we're good bam i got my left side casing now this is colonial casing you can see the extra bevels I've got my pre-cut 45. I'm gonna turn it upside down, set it on the floor, and then mark the height. Casing goes on, match it up to the old paint line. Now 
Now you can see this little bit of the side of the jam right there. That's called a reveal. And I want to keep that the same all the way down. So I'm going to pull the casing over. Looking good. Now we're going to replace this piece of stock. This is called stock molding. Also sold at the depot. Here's the style I have here. It's just squared off. All right, now I want my stock to meet up to this uh, piece of the jam right there. I wanted to go in behind this one. So it looks like I'm going to have to notch a little bit off of this guy. Trusty multi-tool. Got my 80 and 5 eighths. We're gonna slip it up behind this guy here. I'm gonna attack it with one nail. All right, we're gonna shut the door to make sure we get the stop in the right position. Pull the door shut, and then you can nail it off. So I'm gonna mark this catch on the jam right where it falls. Okay, here's the center. We'll carry our measurement over. All right, so we have our little crosshair X right there, right where the center of my latch falls. Now I'm gonna turn this thing backwards and lay it up here, right in the center. You can see that. And then I'm gonna trace the outside of this. One inch paddle bit, also known as a spade bit. We only need to go in about a half inch. Nice sharp chisel and we're going to score out the outline of this guy. Get right on the money and you just give it some medium tacks. And remember, you only want to go in the thickness of the latch, which is not thick. So that's it. We just rocked that interior door jam replacement that was kicked in pulled out the old jam leg, replaced the piece of casing, replaced the jam, recessed the latch, and now I'm super sweaty. So if you need help out of your current jam, you got this. All that's left is some caulk and paint. I'm gonna leave that to you. So for Home Mender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today, and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.